Hey you, my short torso, short waisted friend. I am very excited to be doing an updated video for swimwear 2021. In addition to some updated links, I also have some options that have been highly requested from last year's video. So we have some fuller coverage options, what to do if you don't like bikinis, along with some trendier versions, cause I have some surprises around there that I'm excited to share, as well as some of my tried and true, like these are just seriously great swimsuit options. Now is the time for you to do what you know you need to do if you haven't already please like and subscribe and let's get started. An overwhelming request I got from my last video is some more options with more coverage. So the first one that's a really great option is a tankini. Tankini. I'm having one of those moments where I'm really analyzing how I say a word and I feel like I'm saying it wrong no matter how I say it. This is a great option because like a bikini, there are two pieces. So you have a top and a bottom and it's supposed to look like they go together and with your short torso, it's definitely going to look like they go together. You cannot find a rise too low that will not make that work. A lot of the basic fundamental building blocks that I'll touch on again in this video, but I also touched on in my first video, can also apply to Taikini. So when it comes to the straps, when it comes to the top type, when it comes to the kind of decor and patterns and colors that you choose, all of that can still be applied, but you do get that little bit of extra coverage. But there's another detail that I have been seeing on some Taikinis and then I've also been seeing on other swimsuits is ruching. Ruching is one of my favorite things for a short torso person or really any person because I think it works on everyone to have to sort of hide things that we're maybe wanting to cover a little bit more especially if we're going to be you know dressed. But ruching does a really great job of camouflaging. So when you have some ruching, it creates interest, but it also can kind of distract the eye away from areas that you're really not trying to emphasize. Of course, ruching can come in all different shapes and sizes. So you can find it in very tiny bikinis and you can also find it in very full coverage swimsuits. My point is sometimes it's not always about the coverage, it's about how that coverage fits. So try a ruched detail if you're looking to camouflage something or distract from something else. So my other piece of advice when you're looking at options that have more coverage is to also think about how everything in your torso is playing together, right? And like, I have a short torso too, like I get it. This is why we're called short-waisted or short torso because they're just shorter. It's all the same stuff, but it's just in a smaller kind of region than you know, if it were longer. I understand some of the thoughts that can come up around that. But one fix that I swear by, and I know this doesn't like count as a fuller coverage option, but I promise you it will give you more confidence in this area is if you have an underwire top. It lifts the girls up and trust me, like anytime I wear like a bralette or sports bra, I'm immediately reminded why I love underwire because everything, when I don't, just kind of more falls a bit lower and so you actually feel like you're bigger. It's just like these kind of mind tricks that happen in how you feel, but when you're able, even if it's just to add a quarter inch, just add a little bit extra space here at the top, it just, it, it totally changes your perception. So I know this is an option with like more coverage, but if you're looking for more coverage because you're trying to hide part of your midsection, try this instead. Just, just try it. You don't have to wear it. No one ever has to see you in it. But hey, if that is not cool with you, that's totally fine. I have another option for you. There are tummy control, I hate that word. I have to be honest. Tummy control bikinis and swimwear out there. I more like to think of it as like compression swimsuits. You know, when you have a looser pair of leggings versus a little bit more compression leggings, how it just like feels more like shapewear almost in a way. That's kind of like this for swimwear. And the ones I'm linking in particular, I'm really impressed with their sizing and I'll talk about that here in a second, but it gets my stamp of approval for more than one reason. All right, now we're gonna talk about one piece swimsuits because in last year's video, I sort of, um, trash them within good reason because you would normally have to get them tailored. So I found some that I think you might not have to get tailored. Read the fine print. So if you have your heart set on a one piece, here are my suggestions. The first one, find petite one piece swimsuits. So because we have our torsos and they're a bit shorter, they sometimes, if your height is right, they can sometimes fall into petite sizing up here and non-petite sizing below. The thing is, is that not all swim brands make petite sizes. I did a bit of research and found some good brands that also make swimwear in petite sizing. So all the ones you've been seeing have been in petite sizing. So those brands are Old Navy, 
Athleta, and Land's End. I'm sure there are others, and I know I've seen a few like occasionally from other brands, but these ones I know are going to be well made. You can also cheat. I prefer to use the word innovate, but you can also find tankinis in the same color and they look like a one piece. That's a super easy solution because you're also buying them at the same time in the same set. They're kind of more guaranteed to match sometimes I will buy like a black bikini top with a different black bikini bottom and they will not match. So at least with the tikini, like you're guaranteed that it'll match, it'll look like a one piece and it'll look great. A couple of tips when finding a one piece swimsuit. And of course, if you find something you love, then wear it. Like none of these tips matter, just wear what you wanna wear. But these are just suggestions that I would feel more comfortable and confident in. So the first one is thicker straps. When it comes to straps, I like them to be thicker. That kind of just adds extra color and extra color block. I don't always follow that advice. It kind of depends on other details that are going throughout the garment. When it comes to a one piece, if you have really thin straps, here, which kind of highlights this area, which could make it look a bit shorter. If you have a short torso and you're looking to make that torso appear longer, you're going to want to have that same color come from as high up your neck as you can, all the way down to as low as you can. Okay, so let's talk about some trendier options. Now, one trend I talked about in a video from a few months ago about just like trends for your body type. It is essentially just kind of like a halter that goes around your chest and puts your girls in a sling. Now what I like about this is one, it's a high neck. So we're getting some focus up here and then we're also getting skin starting up as high as we could in between the girls and then it goes all the way down to your bottoms. Pair that kind of halter top with low rise bottoms and your torso is going to look so long. Will you get some interesting tan lines? Very possibly, please wear sunscreen. The other trend, which I also talked about last year is the cutout one piece trend. Now, a couple of things to note, you can have cutouts that don't always align with your torso, which can be really frustrating, I get it. But the more that you can have a cutout that's almost like it could be two separate pieces, that's usually better than if you still have the whole garment completely attached and you just have like random holes missing, especially we see that like a hole in the back. I'm not saying it's impossible or that you can never get it tailored. It just kind of could be a little bit more complicated and what you buy online might not be what it looks like when you try it on. Also, underwire options. I know I talk about underwire so much, but there are a ton of underwire options. My only hesitation, the only reason why I don't really do a lot of these underwire trends is because they're also very much paired with very tiny, thin straps. And if you're larger chested, that doesn't always work proportionally. But in general, I love this trend. I highly support this trend. And there are options with thicker straps. Another trend I'm seeing a lot is the one shoulder. I love a one shoulder swimsuit. I think it is gorgeous. I've had people reach out and say that they're now sold on the one shoulder trend, which I just thank you so much. I love when you all reach out. But really anything a little bit asymmetrical usually involves this area somehow. And so again, creating some color here that can connect to your torso in some way, or just add interest up here in general, is going to work really well for lengthening your torso. So now I wanna talk about swim bottoms and kind of more bikini bottoms because that's the only other kind of bottoms that exist for swimsuits. For me, a low rise bikini bottom is like the perfect bikini bottom. This bikini right here is like one of my favorite swimsuits of all time. I just wish it came in more colors and I feel like it keeps selling out really fast. I have my fingers crossed for a restock this summer, but I'm obsessed. It has the low rise, it has the underwire, and I just feel amazing in it. But when it comes to your bottoms, it also matters kind of where your leg stops. I don't like the ones that kind of get cut off way too low. I do like my long legs. I do like to show them off. I just want them to look proportional to everything else. So for me, I like them to come up just a little bit higher and I might kind of play around with where they hit me but I will also look for ones that have ties that show some skin right here on the sides, maybe some rings. There's seriously all kinds of styles of bottoms that are like this, but again, it just kind of keeps the bottoms light and small and just kind of not the center of attention because they can quickly become the center of attention. The other detail that I love is a high neck bikini top. And yes, I know high necks aren't everyone. And yes, you will kind of get some interesting tan lines, but the one that I have, it has like this nice crisscross pattern in the middle and it just kind of creates more skin right here which again kind of lengthens everything out and I just feel amazing in it but I don't want to talk too much about some of these basics that I love I really wanted to hit on those last few here but if you want to continue the things I love and maybe don't love about swimsuits for short torsos check out my video from last year here thank you so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe and I can't wait to see you in my next video bye